In this section, you learn how to work with desired configuration management. First, I'd like to show you how to configure desired configuration management for forefront client security. I launch Configuration Manager Console, and then I expand Site Database, Site Settings, and select Client Agents. I right-click on Desired Configuration Management Client Agent, and then click Properties. I select the Enabled Desired Configuration Management on Computers checkbox. Then select Custom Schedule and click Customize. In the Custom Schedule dialog box, under Recurrence Pattern, I select Custom Interval, and under Recur Every, I select 8 hours. In the Custom Schedule dialog box, I click OK, and click OK on the Desired Configuration Management Client Agent properties. By doing this, I enabled Desired Configuration Management Client Agent. The next step is to import the Forefront Client Security Baseline. I minimize the Configuration Manager console and navigate to the source directory for Forefront Client Security Baseline. I double-click on the FCS configpack.msi. On the first page of this wizard, I click Next. I accept the license agreement and click Next. On the destination folder and in installation page, I click Next and click Finish to complete the setup. Then I close the Windows Explorer. I switch back to Configuration Manager Console and expand Computer Management, Desired Configuration Management, and then click Configuration Baselines. In the Actions pane, I click Import Configuration Data. In this wizard, on the Choose Files page, I click Add. In the Open dialog box, in the Navigation pane, I expand the location in which I've installed Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager Client Security Configuration Pack. On the Open dialog box, I select FCS Configuration Pack file and then click Open. In the Skip Authenticode Signature Check dialog box, I click Yes. In the Import Configuration Data wizard, on the Choose Files page, I click Next and click Next on the Summary and close on the last page of this wizard. In order to determine the CI Unique ID, I right-click on the Configuration Baselines node and click View and then click Add and Remove Columns. Under Available Columns, I click UI Unique ID and then click Add and then click OK. This way, I can determine the CI Unique ID for the Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack Baseline. At this section, I've configured the schedule for Desired Configuration Manager Client Agent and imported the Microsoft Forefront Client Security Baseline. Next. I assign a baseline and perform a baseline evaluation. In the Configuration Baselines node, select Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack Baseline, and then on the Actions pane, I click Assign to a Collection. In this wizard, on the Choose Configuration Baselines page, I click Next. Then I click Browse and select All Systems and click OK. I click Next on the next few pages and close this wizard. In order to force Desired Configuration Management Evaluation, I switch back to my client, open up Control Panel, System and Security, and click Configuration Manager. I update the Machine Policy Retrieval and Evaluation Cycle by selecting it from the Actions tab and then click Initiate Action. I close the Configuration Manager and then I reopen it in order to see the update. Then I click Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack Baseline. Then I can click Evaluate. I wait for the evaluation to complete. By doing this, I have assigned the Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack Baseline and forced the evaluation of the baseline on this computer. To view the evaluation report on the client, in the Configuration Manager Properties dialog box, I click Refresh. In the Configuration Manager Properties dialog box, I scroll to the Compliance State column. The state is Non-Compliant. I select the Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack Baseline and then click View Report. As you can see, every item displays as non-compliant. You can also view the evaluation reports on the reporting point. So in order to do that, I open up Windows Internet Explorer and navigate to the reporting point, which is HTTP colon NYC-CFG1 SMS reporting underscore NYC. I expand Desired Configuration Management Compliance and then click Compliance Details for a configuration baseline. In the Report Information pane, in the Configuration Baseline name, I click Values, and then click Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack Baseline. In the Report Information pane, I click Display. In this report, I scroll down to the first line that indicates NYC-CFG1 in the Computer Name column and includes the configuration item name of Microsoft Forefront Client Security Anti-malware mini filter is installed. As you see, the state displays as non-compliant. 
We can click the arrow links located on the left side of the report. As you see, in the compliance details for a configuration baseline by configuration item reports, none of the configuration items are compliant. At the end of this section, I have viewed the desired configuration management report available on the client and viewed the reports available from the site server. In the next step, I create a collection of non-compliant systems. Switch back to the site server, click Collections, and on the Actions pane, I click New Collection. I specify a name for this collection. I call it Forefront Baseline Non-Compliant Systems and then click Next. I click the New Query button, I specify a name, Forefront Non-Compliant, then I edit the query statement. Select the Criteria tab and click New. On the Criterion Property dialog box, I click Select and I choose Configuration Item Compliance State as an attribute class and CI Unique ID for the attribute. Then I click OK. In the Criterion Properties dialog box, I click Value. I select the unique ID for the Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack baseline that I have indicated earlier and then click OK. On the Criterion Properties dialog box, I click OK and click New button. On the Criterion Properties dialog box, I click Select. Then I choose Configuration Item Compliance State as an attribute class and Compliance State Name as an attribute. Then I click OK. On the Criterion Properties dialog box, I click Value. I select Non-Compliant and then click OK. On the Criterion Properties dialog box, I click OK. And in the Forefront Baseline Non-Compliant Systems Query Statement Properties, I click OK. I click OK on the Query Rules Properties dialog box. I click Next on the remaining pages, such as Membership Rules, Advertisements, and Security, and then I close this wizard. I expand the Collections node and then select Forefront Baseline Non-Compliant Systems Collection. As you see, there are systems in the collection. By going through this section, I've created a collection representing the systems that don't have Forefront Client Security installed.